I met yesterday uh, a person involved in MK Ultra. Her family, I identify her, her family, and I got a difficulty with this stuff because of corruption at International Criminal Court, at International Police Association, at Interpol, of course at the United Nations, and of course also at the European Court for Human Rights, which by the way, the news came out, it's not from European Union, but it's just the name of it, the name of this court located in France and Strasbourg, it's European Court for Human Rights. Yeah, it's very misleading, but so what? Finally, we learned the truth that this is not from European Union Court, actually. Uh, it's just the name of the court is European Court for Human Rights. Nice to know that stuff, too. The corruption is as rampant as... ever was i don't think in the history of the humankind that we dealt with corruption to this degree the person who met me as i stated was involved in mk ultra since her early days uh since she used to go to high school uh, that's like really going back in time far back in time and she's british she then moved to the united states uh, and even settled for a job in the U.S. Army in the military. British royals told me that is as far as uh, confirmation, confirmation-wise, I obtained from her, which is going to send you people like this here and there to see how much you remember. That's all there is, because there's no confirmation really the way I would like uh you know to interact from my point of view this was more a waste of time the whole thing and from their point of view it's exactly what i stated in respect to this youtube doctors uh physicians uh all kinds of people they involve in it with idea to help basically for them it was just an in it's just an insurance coverage, basically. It's just something that they hoped. Eventually, I'm not going to even place this online, but I will. This time, I will. I got slaps like this already in my face before, but this time, I decided I'm going to put this online. The girl is American citizen now. By now, I'm certain of it. And her name appears to be, at least last name, Greased. G-R-I-S G-R-I-E like echo S T Kristen Greist yeah apparently lives in Los Angeles California yep <clears throat> she moved down to California I don't know probably sometimes in I had no idea. Probably sometimes in 2015, I would say, something like that. So we start the conversation, and we go with a hello, Kristen, here. Uh, she sent me a friend request, and we became friends the day before yesterday. Uh, as a matter of fact, no, it was yesterday, I think, that we became friends. It was yesterday that we became friends and I briefly went over her file because I do this before accepting this uh, friend's requests. And so what I did was I saw these pictures of her and I immediately know who she was. And so I accepted this friend's request and, was, and she called him and she said, how are you? Your prophet got my attention. I decided to add and get to know you if you want. Really the worst, the worst, the worst that I came across, and this is not the worst, trust me, but 
it was whatever the British Royals took me abroad. The worst was their references. Their references sucked completely. But there you have it. How are you? Your profit got my attention and I decided to add and get to know you if you want. I thought I was sure I'm fine with it. Uh, well, thank you. I'm from the United Kingdom serving in the U.S. military. Where are you from? Uh, so, I like to joke. So, I told her. So, he took one of those tornado planes on a flight to the U.S. and decided to stay there. Or did you become a resident in the U.S.? It's a little bit unusual for British to go and serve in the US military and it did happen so that you had a Cuban guy who no actually it was an American guy who boarded the plane and wanted to take one to Cuba uh, but then again it was a Russian guy who also boarded the plane and took off to uh, American base and that kind of stuff happened so I just wanted to to entertain a little bit uh, and so she responds is sure a resident she alone assured me that it would be done in a such a way that it would not even necessary demonstrate that this is her personal account that she would use somebody else okay a proxy basically to do this with me with her name literally with her permission permission on her behalf literally like this so where are you from? Yeah, uh, sure, resident, I see. Where are you from? She's asking me. And the person interacting with me at this point is she, but she's using somebody else's account, most likely. Not, most likely not her personal account. Uh, so I'm gonna explain to you why uh, before I answer her where I'm from, I want to know who exactly I'm dealing with. And you can see here in the uniform, it's the name is Greece. And so I ask her if that's you, because the last name is says Greece, and I see the girl in the uniform whom I already have recognized. I want to know, is that you? Uh, and she says to me, she responds here, yes, that's me. Then what I do next is I ask her, I say to her, well, you have been in the military for some time already. Uh, I would go to 2013 with that photo. How long have you been in the US military for? And she tells me eight years. Well, eight, eight years, that's not exactly 2015, that's 2014. Uh, maybe that was even maybe 2013. So this is one credit you're gonna give me. Now it's 2022 minus eight, it's 2014. That you would come out and just say to somebody like this, something like this, you would have to know the person real well, I think from somewhere somehow uh, the possibility is even that since 2013 and so she asked me what's your profession and um, it's right after you completed the boot camp academy or whatever that that's exactly what it is military academy whatever boot camp that she took the photo i think it was like three months three or six months and she says got it i i told her here mechanical engineering technician got it a journalist yeah i remember you no i i remember her now it came to me who she was and it's nice to meet you here uh, Joe Biden got me to that location. It really was a Joe Biden who got me 
inside of this military facility. I was everywhere, not only in the military facilities, I was all over the place. So I tell her, and that's why I know that she is the one typing this. If you remember earlier, I told you about <clears throat> that she's going to be using somebody else's account. That's a strong possibility that this account actually is used with someone else with her name. Because if you look at the photos here, you get to see this. And if you want to learn about who she is or anything like this, you're not really going to get any information that's going to be helpful to you, which is really good for me. Actually, that's why I came to realize that it could be that this is not even her account. Birth year 1970, April 15. And the name, the contact information, Ivan Park, 1970, hotmail.com. So I came to realize that this is not a fake account, but account that belongs to somebody else. Um, it somehow doesn't match her profile. It doesn't make it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, she's also younger. She's not 1970, her birth year. So that this is very possible that. You know that that's it but I know that she is typing this stuff so why do I know that why she's typing this stuff I know that she's typing this stuff she tells me that this is a code between me and her this right here you could say a secret code or whatever but this is a code between me and her you are telling me that right now after I told her uh, here I challenged her I said you know I used to live in the US too right so I told her that basically right up here that I'm from Slovenia and I mention her my profession that kind of stuff and then I tell her well I hope you knew I was and I'm American citizen uh, just making sure to see how and on what they updated you it's okay nothing to worry no I, I'm glad I'm so glad to meet you here you know nothing to worry I just want and I just want her to know that I also that she knows now that she knows now that I'm American citizen and when I said a code and when I told you that it's exactly why I know that she's typing this stuff is because she told me under MK Ultra that I'm not supposed to be inside of that facility inside of the military facility or even better that I shouldn't have been anywhere here and this appears to be a station in Yemen this thing here this is where I was guys I was all over this place with these guys here literally before she even joined before she even arrived to Yemen I was already with these guys 
everywhere. She posted exactly the photos and she did have a boyfriend in California when I told you that she moved to California in 2015. That was, I think, even when he was in the military and the dude was really 1970. Basically, I was born in 1971. And so it appears to me that his name is Ivan Park. I'm going to go ahead and visit him too. Uh, this American gringo was the one I got really pissed off with because he stole her. Um, what am I going to say to you? This guy's about 10 years younger than she is. Okay, and if I say six actually older than she is and definitely he is you know how much older he is he's exactly about seven years six seven years older than what she is and that makes her birth date in respect to her birth date if we go to her birth date i know because I competed with her, with him for her. I wasn't happy about it. I liked her. And you see, her birth date, right? Her birth date is 1977, I would say. All right. So the guy's name here that you see, Ivan Park, that's correct. And he was in the military at least. The biggest problem with the guy is a nice guy. <laughs> okay. And so let's go back. She was afraid of having to do anything when it comes to MK Ultra with a US citizen inside the military facility. And so she's saying here, and you're telling me that right now? Where'd you live in the US? Where are, you, where are you currently? Well, I hope, you know, you knew I was American citizen. Just making sure to see how and what they updated you on. Well, okay, it's nothing to worry. So, I now definitely know I'm talking with her through somebody else's account and account belongs to her boyfriend so I'm glad to meet you and so nice yeah and so how is life in a minute you're treating you and I like the photo of yours uh, not fair current tough yeah I see thinking of living army yeah, I see uh, thought I was uh, sent to Yemen uh, hope of coming back home next month yeah it's decision you only make once they say and that's what I mean when I say when you're done with the military you can only join the army reserves and the military has been good to a lot of people to a lot of young people but mostly young people they made Next to military careers, they made their second careers going. They pay for education, colleges, universities, you know. And it comes with the benefits in your age, retirement, that kind of stuff, healthcare. So if you live Army, I tell her, because in the US I used to work next to the military personnel in a private security area there was just a lot of this military personnel some of which retired some of which was active too and you know I worked alongside so I I tell her that I recommend her to at least stay in reserves uh, people get their diplomas degrees 
You're originally from Philadelphia area, I tell her. Really? And she says, yes. No, it's not really true. I see. I always got it wrong on that MK Ultra, so she says yes. But the truth is, it's not, it's not exactly true. I see. Hold on a moment, but you got your degree already. No, I asked, I talked to her here about the degree, you know, so I have in my mind is once she is done with her military career, probably she just stay with Army Reserves, get herself some degree, something like that. And so, hold on a moment, but uh, you got your degree already, it comes to me. Before you join, I think you attended some university, something I remember that was not far from your country style residential complex. Uh, you moved out on your own early at 19 or so. Yes, I did. I am a captain, she tells me. Yeah, she got the degree already before she joined the military. Uh, I just have to brush the information in my head. I see. I, uh, I did a great job identifying it too, I think. And you visited me in this house as well, I tell her. I'm glad to have met you. Thank you. Uh, I think under given circumstances, Yemen is actually great, even if you told me that could be transferred to any time to other location. She did told me that. Uh, how long have you, been, have you signed for? Two years? Well, she did again for two years. She was at Yemen already. Please, I will respond as soon as I can get to do something now please got to do something now please and so on so i tell her well thanks for stopping by and have a great day and it comes to me the same night this morning actually that i think when you move to the u.s you move to charleston area okay that's exactly now what it is ah october 1st right I'm gonna get to the issue of October 1st in a little bit. Charleston, Carolina. South Carolina. Oh, Charleston. Good old days. When she used to be at the pool when Prince Andrew boasted about how he got her. A good residential place, chance to study abroad, you know, that kind of stuff. Charleston, I just want you to see where the Charleston is in the USA. That's where the Charleston is. Yeah, okay. And so I tell her next it's where you went to university to study and then to Philadelphia. Uh, probably Harrisburg, Harrisburg or Allentown area for a military academy. Tell me if you studied law in the US. And in Britain, you originate from Sheffield. I would even say as I prefer to answer as you want as you went to Liverpool to finish your degree, you originate from Nottingham. Ah, let's see where the Nottingham is. And that's in Britannia. That's in Europe, in another continent. Nottingham. Ah, look at that. So we have a Sheffield, Manchester, and I'm going to say it was Nottingham she's from I don't know maybe it could be Derby or whatever it is but this is not such a small country Britain there is I don't know how many people here about maybe 65 70 million people this is a big country a big ass country you would go and you would do something like this there is no freaking way that you're gonna tell that this is where you are from in Britain not only were you went on to study in the US and where you went for a military in the US okay Philadelphia is not actually that's not Charleston 
I'm sure you're aware of that. So we're gonna do some. No, 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 no. We're gonna do this. All right, please. Do not stop. Harrisburg is right there. Let's see. Uh, that's about over 1,000 kilometers apart. But still, this is in the eastern coast, you see. But her amigo, her boyfriend, he's from the west coast. He's from LA. Ivan. Ivan the Terrible. Okay, so you got it. So in the US, she appeared in Charleston. And from Charleston, she headed to Harrisburg to get her military training. A uh, boyfriend whom she met through the military is from LA. She moved to him, I think, in 2015. Originates from Nottingham. in United Kingdom Nottingham in United Kingdom that's where she originates well let's go back here to what I figure out at 3 o'clock in the morning I told her uh, you went on to Liverpool to finish your degree and you originate from Nottingham that's what it is it's got nothing to do with any Sheffield it's got it's a Nottingham and she went on to finish her degree just like her younger sister she went on to finish her degree to Liverpool you guys have a house in UK I remember your father and your mother your mother used to work in retail or some retail shop from what I can recall I think I think that's not I'm completely certain about and she retired about like two ten years or something like this she was like blonde hair and you have another sister older um, and she says you're not sleeping from perhaps you're older and your sister is younger I think that you have a younger sister I'm going to bed now this is bye bye okay here is a story. Both sisters followed, actually the younger sister followed the step of her older sister. And it was always a Liverpool. It could be a Manchester, I don't know. I don't freaking know, but this is the same thing, Manchester and Liverpool, no, isn't it the same? I mean, I didn't say that she's from London or South Britain or Scotland anything like this or even Northern Ireland I was very specific about this stuff I couldn't be more specific than what I was maybe I was a little bit radical when I said Liverpool but I think it was Liverpool but actually more likely it was Manchester sorry Manchester Manchester they don't have the universities in Liverpool they do maybe probably who knows what they have but in this case, it was Manchester. Manchester. It was Manchester. Yeah. Now, how exactly I know about all this stuff is because it was a difficulty. Not really. They have a really good rail system. They have all that stuff. Uh, Dad meddled in this affair too. He sometimes would nervously drive around with a car too. Uh, yeah I was at her place at her university through this case she secured Rome uh, through this case maybe she secured more I have no idea maybe a place in university who knows how the hell that wins but it definitely had to do here with Londonia she got involved in this MK Ultra case and they gave assistance to people who did 
not that I wouldn't pay the price, a hefty price. I did. There was all kinds of shit that went on uh, that university and in private settings and so on. Uh, but she went through and exactly following her steps was her younger sister. Yes, she has a sister. It's a younger sister. They have a house. The home is a house. Did I say that here? I think I did mention here. Oh. Uh, this house. Uh, you guys have a house in the UK. I remember your father and mother. Yeah. What is here for me to say? Uh, she started. I think law, literally, study the law. The possibility also exists that she might have started something else, maybe, who knows, accounting, whatever. I have no idea. But I know that it was a younger sister, contrary to her, who went on to study some kind of a technical stuff, like. I don't know. Maybe even nursing, she was interested to become uh, in that sense. You know what I mean? But the thing about Kristen is, once she immigrated to the USA, they go back to the Charleston. She became interested definitely in a law, in obtaining a law degree. So I presume that she had a degree already from United Kingdom, from Great Britain. She brought that degree to the US and proceeded to get a degree in Charleston area. She eventually moved next door to a college university campus too uh, and would continue to study next to her job and the job that she obtained in Charleston I hope it was not in seven or something no for God's sakes no no uh, Charleston night She worked inside of the office, law office, and was assisting inside of that law office, lawyers. That's why I know that she was studying in law, was interested in obtaining a law degree. And it's very, 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 very possible, okay, that very, very, very possible is that one of this Ivans that you see here let me see it's very very possible that, that one of these Ivans uh, American Ivans it's very possible one of these Ivans is American Ivans eventually was my MK Ultra um, entourage in a Yemen. Okay, that's a very very high possibility that on that picture right there, I actually might be looking at the real Ivan, Ivan Parker from Los Angeles the two met before she even moved down to California I said earlier 2015 the possibility out there even exists 2013 the only thing I know is 
I don't like the fucking guy because I like her. Uh, and I started with all the stuff as usual I would to, you know, to make him to knock off, to fuck off basically. But this guy is to let go basically. That's what I mean. This individual is American gringo. This is American gringo that I have no idea, but if I profile, if I look at like this, if I profile this gringo, Mr. Ivan Parker, it would be, in my opinion, I would come as close as something like this, something like this. Uh, all true. There is other photos. You see this combination here. Something like this. I don't know. Why I don't know? Because all these guys were involved in MK Ultra, so that makes things kind of tricky, kind of difficult to point out which of these gringos actually became. Which of these Ivans actually became uh, I don't know if the two got married. I wouldn't have any information on that stuff. But I retaliated against her. Uh, I retaliated against her because in a military they squeezed her good and within a few years oh, let me see this <laughs> you dream only within the few years as much as she appears a youthful here I've noticed that babe developed a little bit of a great gray hair yeah uh a little bit a little a little a little gray here and i don't even know if this is she i still don't believe that this is she she had a friend too uh and because of this gray hair in a military let me see aha here you can see it here you can see the gray hair you can see that she has a gray hair uh, I figure out on them Ultra, well, you know, you have gray hair, you know, goodbye, basically, just like this. It was the other, other babes in the military I started to pay attention to, and no attention to her whatsoever, and that's when she got pissed off. That That's when everything went wrong, boy. That's when things took off. That's where everything went wrong. That was... You don't pay attention to me. You're looking at her. Why are you looking at her? What, what do you this and that? And I was really, really frank and honest on the MK Ultra, and I taught her about it. Uh, she started to develop like uh, physique. Also physique, yeah. I mean, because it's a military. They. I remember when I appeared. At her facility, at her military facility, she appeared to me, they worked her ass. She almost looked like an old horse, man. They squeezed completely every bit of energy. And I figured out, I said to myself, lady, if you continue like this, um, soon you're going to look like, uh, like a completely, completely like a real man okay uh and i just attracted more to a feminine features when it comes to females uh and so she paid very close attention to that stuff and for a little bit it was like a little trauma that hit her head because it was a rejection from my end too 
And then all of a sudden, I found myself in a completely different surroundings, in a completely different settings. And it was some girlfriends that she got. Um, she insisted, she insisted to me that, um, that this is what she was and this and that, and I don't know what, that what I think that she also is not only in the military, that she goes out and she fix herself. Uh, all true, she insisted to me this, to me, that girl that you see right there, this feminine figure that you see right there that's not she but instead her friend she teased me with she did however improve and it was good the stuff I did you can see here with a little tongue spreading out of her mouth happy uh, yeah she should be happy because I reminded her that really a little bit more and uh, I don't know it felt like she's gonna forget she was a female now it's not that I don't appreciate ladies that are really hard worker and she was a workaholic but I don't appreciate that to the degree that the lady forgets that she is a female after all uh, you know that's all nice that that you are so enthusiastic about your military career and stuff like this but to the certain degree you know what i mean to the certain degree so 2015 is when she moved uh she started to contemplate on a move and moved probably to uh to to ivan to california or something like this the two were like back and forth he and she met literally through this case now after i have identified her and her family and her friends uh i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna identify some of these guys here but this i already i don't have anything to say i don't know uh yeah yeah joe told me it's not harrisburg it's alien alien town allentown oh he said that philadelphia area is good yeah that's good that's a harrisburg right here uh, but Allentown, that would be like probably it. Allentown. So it's got to be Allentown when she got this done. This military. So what we see here, most likely Allentown. Boom. For which I already pointed out. Uh, Yemen base. Yemen base is what Americans got. You know what Americans got? Yemen base. I was there literally from day one even when they got the contract and all that. I think it was like um, back and forth 2004 or something like this. And so I'm going to go briefly over this she posted um if that's her boyfriend he gained a lot of weight all right if if this is uh if this is uh which I, I i don't think so no 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 it's not it's not no 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 this is not this is her good friend this is amigo that was present at this base i think since they maybe even opened one the only thing i'm gonna say is the oldest picture here of them all the oldest one is this one here this is the picture with probably in my opinion also the best 
soldier. This definitely is the best soldier of entire Yemen group. This man here. Uh, and the soldiers were rated not only accordingly. And I think this is the guy here. He just gained weight over course of the time. What's his name? Yeah. I have no idea. I gotta find another piece of uniform to know this. The soldiers were not only rated according to enemy they face in the field. It was something very bad that happened. From what I was updated in 2007 something like this and they brought me back uh, and they had to deal with me too and I placed a tremendous pressure it's what they claimed on the entire group uh, so therefore they were using me also to mentally evaluate uh, to pull extra pressure on troops to see who is more qualified before they that's how they prepare them for advancement before they promoted them to higher ranking uh, military officials. And this man was the best man of them all. This one right here that you see. This one was the best because he never lost nerves with me. Uh, as much as I was a monkey out there and was doing all kinds of stuff. As a matter of fact, I didn't take shit. They were doing shit. They were causing problems, and I responded accordingly to that. I didn't give a shit either. I protected my interests. Uh, and so I think that, that this here that you see here is actually the guy. As you see on that picture, the only thing is that he gained a little extra weight, but still keeps young because it's a military, and military keeps you active physically. It's good for you. It's really good for you. I would recommend young people in the U.S. Military is the way of life. Definitely. This picture here, uh, this was taken. Uh, that one that you have seen right there was 2007. And this here, the, she uploaded all the pictures, or Ivan uploaded all the pictures in on a January 2021. What you see right there, that was taken, this picture was taken in 2008, and nothing over, 2009, so it's not going to be 2010 and 2008, 2009. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about something else right now, 2009. Uh, no, 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 I'm mistaken. This was a later stage. No, this I'm mistaken. This picture was taken. Yeah, once I started to gain weight already and stuff. This picture was taken even sometimes in, yeah, who knows, 2013, something like this. But that's my mistake. But that one that you have seen, that was all the way to 2007, 2008. So that's the oldest picture, the picture that I demonstrated you. This here, up here, this is where we would always stop here. This, whatever they had, this place here. It's uphill, uphill, uphill. Um, yeah, they would bring me inside of the military base in Yemen. They would take me to military bases in Afghanistan, Iraq. I have even found myself on Russian bombers over Syria. I did not request for any of this. It just happened so.
this shit here went on and this was really a bullshit this was a torture that's why she didn't want to have anything to do with this kind of stuff with that kind of stuff um it was a crap this thing here this picture this stuff was taken sometimes and total garbage total nonsense involving it very disappointing before they hospitalized me probably i estimate in 2011 for this picture here no here you can see right in the middle this was the guy who was from the day one did you see right there i'm gonna take uh this man was always number one this guy was number one since the base was open i'm talking about this guy here this is the highest ranking the senior this this guy and who was by the way replaced i believe by this guy I was right here present when they received the medals I had to see these medals the, the way they received the medals um, these were the four guys that he have chosen to receive he personally have chosen to receive these medals so this is this Hispanic guy this according to him were the best soldiers to receive the medals for their bravery and so on oh, let's see what else here we can pull I was present here I wouldn't call these guys the rookies but this was already a newer younger generation and i was present during this year too uh now you're talking about the year 2015 this is when i go to 2015 right here that you see right there okay so i don't know how long he she has been here at this place so you can see the the man here that I demonstrated you that a little earlier so that you can see that this is the guy this is this is this was the number one guy this is this is the replacement of what you have seen you can see him here I was present during this year too he had me here too uh, on this show or whatever this stuff is everything is uploaded with a uh, January 17 2021 but this stuff here that you see right there well, this goes all the way to back way back in time this goes to 2013 right so we're gonna give this one here also 2013 right so there you go yeah he appears here again so i think i was clear uh i think i did make myself clear it's easy to say this shit now it's easy to tell this stuff now uh, but let me ask you what would it be if I would say this when I was institutionalized when I was placed inside a psychiatric hospital if I would say that I was in Yemen inside of the military base in Yemen that I was in Yemen or let's say that I was in Afghanistan or let's say that I was in Iraq during the war 
or let's say that I was in Iran or let's say what it would be like if I would say when I was institutionalized that I was with the Kim Jong-un in North Korea uh, and let's say what would it be if I would say that I met Nelson Mandela and um, Jacob Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa and Julius Malema and that I met uh, at the same time okay all the all the people around the world that they were involved in this case what exactly would have happened okay if I would have without any proofs without anything what exactly I would be because you know what they branded me with a paranoid schizophrenia so what the fuck do you do what can the person that you label one with something like this what can the person tell is it a question of stupidity or is it just a burial of a live human being basically that's what this Buckingham Palace that's what this British did here from London that's the damage they did to me this is this is what this is so that they could accommodate Moscow so they could accommodate or accommodate Belgrade for their personal sake for their Swiss account so they could load one with more and more and more wealth so it's easy it's easy to point out who where all this stuff that's the easy thing to do uh, but it's not easy when they gag you like this you know this is the oldest picture I'm gonna repeat you just this picture was taken in 2008 and it was just like two weeks earlier that they came under attack I understand one was even killed or something like this they were under a lot of stress pressure what did what they would do and I was here when this picture was taken they would take me on a patrol with them and I didn't really mind If I did all over again, I probably would go to the U.S. military to army first. I think everybody should. It takes a little toll on you. You know, I was in the military here already. I was fed up with the idea that I cannot go out and date some females and stuff like that. Um, that's just her friend that used to work in the shop I remember now yeah 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 uh, the thing about it is that um, she can fix her too she is she's also good-looking she's also good-looking female it's a good-looking female too uh, and For me to properly end this video, uh, when it comes to Oktoberfest in Germany, but well, she reminded me of this one here, uh, Sandra Bullock somewhat. This uh, German-Italian actress whose father served in Germany. That's basically how I was somehow interested in, in her. For that reason, she got my extra attention to it, which is a good thing because right now, uh, this is actually really helpful. Also, I didn't get any confirmation and probably really I should not have. No. Okay, cool. Um, I'm really comfortable by meeting this girl even through that it was online but it's an entire regiment here of people that I identified her family soldiers
these are newbies this is 2015 This is an old group. They participated in this station very long time. God knows just how long. And this group, maybe there was just one individual. That would be a different. newer replacement or whatever refreshment but other than that these guys spent their lives here basically that's all the only thing i do now is i take date and time i give a big thank you to united nations especially to Mr. Antonio Guterres who he used to spend a month even two months at a time together with British royals during summer vacations at times he did even this he went to this degree they would come they would go to Portugal or he would meet them here and there and spend two weeks here a week there a week here a week there uh since 1995 since 1995 or maybe if you want amnesty international uh canadian branch controlled through canadian branch princess anne who told me to begin with i will never have a single chance in this whole ordeal and he goes way back to 98 99 she started to groom me for the sake of vladimir putin for the sake of russia and she knew that what she was doing was very wrong or perhaps international police association involved in this or Interpol I already have written about people whom I have personally would meet inside of their apartments inside of their headquarters where they were pre preparing themselves to give speeches decade ahead of positions they obtained behind the closed doors when the buildings when people would leave or it was closed sessions this is the shit that went on unfortunately not only inside of the slovenian parliament not only inside of this russian duma not only inside of the polish same it's what they call parliament same not only inside of the israeli let's say yeah they have a different name for the parliament and in german bundestag and in italian in rome this was a frequent denial to even think about doing what i did basically on every step of the way people participated that would sit at the prominent positions presidential 
positions, ministerial, in Slovenia, all the way down to social services. The police investigators were the ones that ran this whole case in Slovenia, this crime, that they harbored all this stuff. I'm not going to go to the U.S. Congress about what went on, uh, but it was a zoo. It was a zoo with the U.S. Congress and with the U.S. Supreme Court, where I was brought to be abused, harassed, taught time and again, no, without my even knowing what the fuck. You know, this is this is the real this is a real account about me. Would that be a European court for human rights where I was brought for the same purposes? Or any institution, other institution, human possibly could hope, would use to protect his right to existence. Even a political asylum locations ahead of my applying for those is where I was brought ahead of time as they learn where I'm about to go next and under MK Ultra subjected to torture torment like let's say Norway was the case Norway did that kind of stuff Norway would bring me inside police station where you would apply for police uh, for protection and engage in torture denial of the right to file for asylum, threats on how I'm going to be repatriated with a plane ticket if I'm going to dare to file for political asylum and brought from Norway to Slovenia, hijacked from Norway to Slovenia inside a psychiatric hospital promised by Norwegian king that's where I'm going to end as soon as my job search in Scandinavia is over. This is how I was treated, this is my life, this is reality. Just so you understand the nature of these democracies. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. You have a blessed day. Today is July the 17th, 2022.